Okay, um, for today's session, uh, I will walk you through the process of installing Burpsuit Professional. Uh, we all know that with Kali, of course, there comes the Community Edition, uh, but let's just pretend on this Kali installation, there's no Burpsuit installed at all, and we have a license for Professional, and we want to use that. Uh, I do this by using a trial. Uh, you can anybody can get the two weeks trial actually at portswigger.net as you can see here. And all you need to do is supply a valid corporate email. Uh, it doesn't work as it with Gmail or or the likes, but uh, then you give a little bit of information, not too much actually. You don't need a credit card or anything, and you set it up. You get an email, then you can generate your one-time password or your password actually, uh, and then you can sign in and download the installer script for Linux or for Windows, the installer packages if you prefer, and also your license file that will all come after you have registered here. And I have already done this, so we can go straight up and set it up. So I'm here already in the location where it is. Uh, however, note that I already made this executable. By default, when you download it, it might not be executable. You might need to execute it and also uh, I'm using the bash here. Uh, you might run into some minor issues if you use the, the, the default Kali shell, which now is the, the set as edge. Um, so with this, without further ado, we go and start the installation process. So we execute. It will start unpacking the Java uh, environment and then you just run you through an installer as you can see here. Just say next. It will ask you where you want to install. Obviously it is will already be okay to choose whatever is suggested here. Um, any associations you leave it as default and then the swim links of course you want to leave that as default as well to make sure everything works fine. It will then go and start extracting files and this will take a little bit so maybe in the meantime i can tell you a little bit about the differences between uh between the uh, community edition uh versus the pro edition there is quite a few uh it i mean the professional edition costs three i think it's around 399 dollars per license it's actually cheap if you use this for a professional environment, if you use this for professional penetration testing or something like that, right? Um, the main, uh, probably the main differences would be um, you can automate, yeah? So there's a lot of automation that comes out of the box with professional. There's also, um, there's also, uh, this, uh, it, it, it's basically um, more targeted towards individual professional testers. Then there's also the enterprise edition of Pepsod, of course, uh, which is more geared towards like a multi pen tester environment. So in case you have, um, in case you have like several team members, seems like that for entire teams, right? So that's basically if you just one person if you just want to use this to make some freelance penetration testing uh, income professional probably will do for you and it's actually not that expensive okay um this is of course now finished so we're gonna say finish so next thing we're gonna do is let's see if we'll find this here we'll see here now obviously the community edition which is pre-installed with Kali and the professional edition, which is the one we just installed. We're gonna start this one. It might come with a license agreement to accept. Then now it, you will select the license file, right? So I told you earlier, this is the single user license for professional, the trial. And then you just say next. Uh, we do not need a proxy server to connect in our case. So we we'll just say, Next, it will now contact the license server. It's six successfully installed and activated. You said finish. Then this one, if you had existing projects or new pro or want to create a new project per name or whatever, or we're just going to do a temporary project for this case. And we use the defaults just to start it up. And there we go. 
that's basically it. So one of the things that you might see already with with uh, with the uh, professional edition, there's different options here to see, especially the automated scan and things like that. So maybe let me show you also the difference now. Uh, uh, to the community edition, right? Let's start this up real quick. Also with a temporary project and also using the defaults. You can already see the new scan is disabled here, is grayed out because you don't have that option. What this does is basically an automated vulnerability scan of any website. Let, let, let me go switch back now again to the professional edition, right? <clears throat> so these are things that you need to consider. I mean, uh, there's, there's lots of discussions going on why I need the professional edition. There is really a lot of automation that can be done with professional that cannot be done with community edition. So if you use this professionally on a day-to-day -day basis, definitely it's worth the $399 I think that it costs. I can just recommend it. It's definitely worth the money. Yeah. So we go again with the temporary project and we say start perp. And so as you can see here, it's not grayed out. So that, that's the immediately visible difference, right? Except for the name here. But so if we would choose here a new scan, we can say crawl and audit or just crawl, right? So let's say crawl, um, let's say the usual Com, which you can use, of course, example.com, and then we just say OK. And that would start uh, crawling and actually analyzing the website, right? So we found an issue here. What's the issue? Uh, valid the server will run, the issue is pretty informational, everything is fine with that one, and it will then run and run and run and run until it's done. Uh, you then can present those findings directly, move them to the intruder, to the to the move the move the move the project to the target or uh, or use the automated comparer, the logger, the all the usual features that you know from Websuit. However, you can really automate a lot of things here, right? And as you can see, this is a pretty good feature and a pretty good reason to actually pay for the license. This is the just very basic run through how to get the professional edition. Um, try it out. It's free for 15 days. I think 14 or 15 days. Um, you will see if you are used to the community edition, you will find a lot of uh, benefits in the professional edition. If it's worth the $400 a year, it's up to you and how you use it. With this, I'm going to stop this now and for the next video, I think I'm going to show a little bit more about what you can do with the professional edition versus the community edition. Thank you for your time today and have a great day. hope this was useful for you guys.